Well, the World Cup may be over for the rest of us, but the passion for the game still rages in Rohingya camps in Bangladesh, where the flags of Argentina and Brazil flutter alongside the red and green of Bangladesh itself. For them, football is a respite from their difficult world. They may lack the glitz and glamour, but their dewy eyes still burn bright with the love for the game. For many young refugees in the Rohingya camps in Bangladesh, this World Cup was their first. And the excitement of the final match shows no sign of abating soon. The young boys parade a miniature replica of the World Cup trophy in a small glass case through the dry alleyways of the refugee camp, as if it were a real golden trophy. One of the youngest boys jostling for a glimpse of the trophy is five-year-old Nuru Lafsar, who's wearing his favorite Brazil jersey. Okay. My favorite team is Brazil and my favorite player is Neymar. Dozens of barefoot boys play under monsoon clouds, dodging muddy potholes to shoot at a goalpost made with branches and twigs. Besides Spain or the top European club, Football loyalties in this remote but overcrowded camp are mainly divided between Brazil and Argentina. My favorite team was Argentina. I watched the final. It was between Croatia and France and France won the cup. Among the many boys of all ages, one stood out with his hair bleached in his favorite star's signature style, bearing the closest resemblance to the Brazilian striker, at least in this corner of the camp. I like Neymar a lot. That's why I got this hairstyle like him. I liked it very much. I also enjoyed the tournament. For the Rohingya minority who have fled discrimination and persecution, often enduring horrific journeys just to survive, football indeed has offered a respite from the cold and hard reality of their refugee camps. Bureau Report, Beyond.